Hi guys. The rain's come, the rain's gone. It's been a wonderful 24 hours at Fruitopia. We had a little damage over the week from the heat wave. There's always going to be things like this going on. Don't worry about it, don't sweat it. I've had a, a few trees that have copped it, mainly the, um, the figs. Mainly the figs. And it's a little bit of this white sapote. So, we march on. We march on, guys. Okay, so, um, today's video is check out the two um, passion fruits, too. They were so happy with all the rain. They've been hanging there for 12 months. <laughs> Not much has happened. But over the last month, yeah, it's like, hello, we're back, finally. Today's video is about this guy here. And I never had to cover him in the previous um, couple of years. But uh, I'll tell you what, guys, these um, birds, these um, minor birds, that um, some of you are telling me to feed, they don't need my help, believe me. They don't need my help. They're getting more than I am. They're getting actually a hundred times more food than I am getting. So don't feel too sorry for the... I call them pests. Don't feel too sorry for the pests. Why am I saying that? Well, because this Grumi Chama, a month ago, started um, ripening. The fruit started ripening on this at the beginning of January. And I thought, oh, that's cool. And I even got to eat the first one. For the following two weeks, guess what happened? The birds ate every single fruit. I would come out here in the morning, gone. And there was another one that was half ripe. Next day, come out, gone. They would eat them just past the halfway ripening stage. So, last week, enough was enough. Am I going to get any fruit from this tree or not? Or give them all to the birds? Come on, get real. You need to put on a second brain if you don't understand what I'm saying this tree is native to Brazil do you know what that means do you know what it means that this tree is native to another continent it means either I put a net on it or I fly to Brazil to enjoy this fruit you know I pay like five thousand dollars in air flights to please these birds because over in Brazil, these trees are in abundance. They're everywhere. And probably for pennies. Well, not here. You can't buy this fruit at the market. You've got to grow it. You grow it or you fly to Brazil. So I'm growing it and I'm also going to net it so I can enjoy the fruit. Okay, now that we're clear on why I'm netting these rare exotic tropical fruits, we can um, take off the net and see what's going on. Let's have a look. Ah, there's one. There you go. Brazilian cherry. Thank you very much. I love that. It's a little one. Very small. Mm. I can't even show you what it looks like because it's 80, 80 to 90% seed mm. <laughs> you're not getting much at all see how little you get okay okay there's a couple there yeah guys all gone the birds were eating all of them mm. the birds were eating all of them all of them they must have had at least 30 in the first two weeks. Now, I'm going to have 30. Last year, I had about 50 without a net. Didn't use a net last year because I didn't know about it. They hadn't discovered the tree. Uh, it does a great job, by the way, of hiding the fruit. The Gurumi Chama. 
great little trickster but the birds got onto it and once the birds just like rats get onto something here's a big one but it's not ready this is the this is how they were the, the birds were eating them when they were at this stage sour that's sour and that's green okay forget about green that's like it'll make you pucker it'll make your mouth pucker up and that one is sour you can eat it but it's sour and that's how the birds got them they never had one fully ripe silly things because they didn't want me to have them see same mentality there's another one here anyway I'm gonna put the phone down and see how many I can pick and I'll be right back so there it is there it is oh, just over a dozen not much at all this is nothing go and have a look at my um, video from last year to see how many there were <clears throat> 12 months ago there was um, handfuls handful after handful so guys um, the Grumi Chama that you see here is about um, six coming on to seven years and yes it does grow in Melbourne it does grow in a temperate climate I don't know um, how cold of a temperate climate but I'm guessing that um, if you get temperatures below zero you might have to leave it in a pot but um, if temperatures don't go below zero you can do what I did and that is uh, plant it in the um, in the outdoors so let me just zoom out there you go yeah the tree is about 1.4 meters 1.4 almost 1.5 after six years so they're pretty slow growing here in in Victoria I'm sure in the tropics it's um, it grows twice as fast it would probably be up to there by now at least three or four meters but um, we have to wait you always add five years in temperate climates for tropical fruit trees and I'm okay with that another variety of uh, tropical cherry that I grow is this one here it's called Surinam cherry Surinam or Pitanga this one has never fruited and it's also six years old looks beautiful grows well I have it as a hedge along the driveway beautiful tree probably more beautiful than the Gurumichama but it only flowers in um, late winter and that's the problem it flowers too early it flowers whilst we're still getting frost here in Melbourne that is um, end of August early September way too cold nice and um, sunny and warm in Queensland at that time not here here in um, August September we're still shivering and shaking so this um, Surinam cherry likewise drops its flowers and has never given me fruit but there's hope there's hope it's big enough now it's over two meters it's bigger than the Gurumi Chama it's much bigger this is another tropical cherry that I'm growing it's called Barbados cherry Barbados cherry also known as acerola yeah that's what most people know it as depends where you live depends where you live guys everyone claims everything for themselves in Barbados they call it Barbados cherry in Jamaica they call it Jamaica cherry in Florida they call it Florida cherry do you understand how it works so we just call it acerola so that way no one can claim it as their own and this one has only been in the ground for wow two months or less five six weeks I just got this recently from dailies I had one that was four years old 
and was fruiting and was really, really healthy, but it died from, it died from root rot. So that's why I put this one in the ground, in a slightly raised mound. So that's uh, Tropical Cherry number three, Acerola. Technically, the Jabuticaba is not a cherry. But I'm going to call it a cherry for this video. Hope you don't mind. It's more of a grape. You know those Concord grapes, the black ones? It's more like that. But it comes damn close to um, a tropical cherry, kind of. But it's not red, it's black. And uh, this one, wow, this has got a long story. This guy does. Currently um, flowering again. He flowered back in October. And I thought, yippee, I'm going to get some Jabuticabas. But all the, um, the flowers fell. So I was, a little, I was a little disappointed. Right now it's doing the same. I don't know if they're going to hang on. It flowers two or three times a year. In the tropics, I think it flowers most of the year. So um, I'll cover this tree again in another video. It's quite a, quite a story. And then guys, I've got these traditional cherry trees. <clears throat> An American Bing cherry, which is still uh, young although it's pretty big and then this massive um, um, I can't remember the variety either a Stella or a Lapin one of the two I forgot I've had it for oh, 11 12 years and that's massive so they're all the cherries I have yeah So that's today's video guys hope you enjoyed it a wrap up of all the cherries i have as you saw mostly tropical because that's the direction we want to go and meanwhile we can also grow the traditional i'm sure we can still grow them for at least another 10 to 15 maybe more years so we're still going to be getting um, some frost here in melbourne um, parts of Melbourne for um, for quite some time and that's what they need the cold the cold varieties okay guys please um, put a like and subscribe if you haven't already and um, we'll see you from the next video